So now let's get familiar with armature inside of Blender. So armature is used for rigging and it is available in the add menu right here. So once you click on add over here, you can see armature is an option. So once you click on armature, you can see that you have something like a point right here. And then what you can do is you can go around into object mode. In object mode, you can move this around right here. And then over here, let's go to edit mode. And once you go to edit mode, you can add in more armature right here. So let's just get ahead right here and then press Z to move this. You can see that once I press Z, you can see that if I were to uh, move around my mouse, uh, the armature moves around just like this. And then what you can do is you can press uh, E right here. And then once you press E, you can see that you can add in another armature. Click and then there you go. Press E again and then there's another right here. Click again. Click E again and then you can see that there's another armature right here. This, so just like that, you can add in more and more bones right here. So when you're rigging, let's say for example, a character, this is very, very useful. Then what you can do is you can go on to the pose mode right here, which allows you to select out different parts of the armature right here and move it just like this. You can click this and move it around as well. Click this and then you can move it around over here. Similarly, you can click different parts right here and move out the armature and you can see that this is like a robotic arm that you can move around. And that is how you can actually link up different objects onto this armature to make the movement look much more natural. And that is how you can use the armature tool inside of Blender. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.